You're watching Indie Shooter's back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, Clint with Indie Shooter. Continue our coverage of NAB 2019 here with Mitch Gross at Panasonic. And about, what was it? Two months ago, you guys announced this and it's shipping now? The CX350. So it's our latest all-in-one camcorder. Uh, yeah, it was announced in uh, towards the end of January and we started shipping about um, one month ago. It's become extremely popular, extremely fast. Normally we talk to you about EVA1 and Varicam and things like this. I know for myself, we've been working on a documentary and uh, a fixed lens camera has been like something that we've absolutely needed. It's always something that that is of use, right? Yeah, I mean, I love the, uh, I love all our cameras, but I, there are times where an all-in-one form factor is super important. I mean, you know, you just don't have time to be taking pieces apart and all hanging lots of junk off stuff. It's, you just need a machine that has lots of capability all in one small form factor because that you just got to run and go. I mean, you know, whether it's documentary work or you're just you're someone who's traveling and you got to just throw it in a backpack and just whatever it might be, you need you want to have a highly capable machine, but there are times where, you know, I don't I I got this and a couple of batteries and that's it. I mean, I just I don't have room for anything else. I don't have time for anything else. So you have a 20 to 1 optical zoom on here. It also has digital uh, zoom for extending that, and in 4K you can do that for another 4X, and in, in HD you can go like another, I think it's 13X or something. You can really get a long range, and it still looks great. So, but even just on a, the 21 optical, that gives you wider and tighter than the competition. So you have a lens, I, mean, I always find with with these sort of cameras, I'm always struggling to, on the wide end. I can't, I can never get quite as wide as a frame as I want. This gives you a very wide field of view. It also records in the same codecs that the EVA1 does. So that's an all-eye codec, uh, a long gop codec, and then uh, the H.265, the new HEVC codec. So it has a lot of capabilities in that way. When you're shooting in HD, you can go up to 120 frames a second and, and it gives you a really high quality, 120 frames a second. So it's a very capable machine and you can shoot in, in 4K as well. So it is a machine that you know does all this while it only weighs about five pounds. It's extremely lightweight, really well balanced in your hand. You know, the built-in hand grip, of course, and it's just a really comfortable camera to run around with. And a big feature of it is in addition to having SDI, and HDMI, you also have an Ethernet port. And so with that, we can do NDI connectivity. We can do streaming by uh, like RTMP and go right up onto Facebook if you want. So this becomes a, it becomes a different kind of machine at that point because you now have, whether it's news gathering or coverage of events or whatever it might be, the media structure has changed in our world, and it's not simply just uh, you know shooting and then editing the piece together and giving that production to someone you know for for distribution whatever. Sometimes it's all it, it's all right now and right here, and you know away you go. We've done stuff where it's been a live stream. You've done an interview with me. You could do that all completely with this camera, and then out it goes to the world. So. It's that sort of functionality that you have built into this one very, very capable machine that delivers a beautiful image. And uh, I also noticed that it's got uh, ND filters as well, so it really is complete. Uh, now, uh, does it have clean HDMI out? So if I wanted to use like an Atomos recorder or something, I could? Yes, you can. So you can take either for SDI or HDMI, you can have it as a clean output and you can record that as well. It depends all about whatever sort of workflow makes the most sense for you. And it records, by the way, to this to our little SDXC cards. You know, so SD cards, same as on the EVA1. So it's an inexpensive, very petite, uh, portable media. But it has a very high quality OLED electronic viewfinder there, as well as a new LCD panel that has a high reflectance so that it's designed for uh, good viewing in outdoor light. 
As uh, you're getting customer feedback, how do you find that people are using this? Uh, have you talked to some folks? Well, I mean, we had we had someone who went out actually playing on the screen right over there. We had who went down to Central America and uh, was shooting in the jungle with it, and boy, it came back covered in dirt and dust and whatever. It was like really tortured, but the machine kept on working. It worked just fine. Uh, we have other people who are using it for. Uh, like seminar work where they have multi-camera seminar sort of coverage. Uh, some uh, uh, there was a TV station that uh, you know is sending this out with uh, with cameramen and reporters as an immediate spot news uh, camera or as a secondary camera just to be able to get quick coverage of things when sometimes you need to just run in and be able to have something really small. So we're seeing a lots of different people use it in different sorts of ways. So. Uh also XLR input here on the side, it looks like, and... So you have proper audio inputs, you know, you have one here, and then we put one up here so that it's a short cable for the, uh, the onboard mic. And that ships with the camera too, right? That's a, an accessory item for the camera, yeah. It uses the same batteries as the uh, EVA-1, is it the yeah. same one? Same type of battery that we use in the EVA-1, which is the same battery that we have in the DVX-200 and the UX-180, and you can take batteries that you had from way back in the DVX 100. You could stick it in here and it'll run just fine. What's nice with our newer batteries, of course, is that they they are smart batteries and they have they communicate with the chargers and such, so we can uh, do fast charging with them and they have a little meter built on them and stuff. But you can, you take one of our large batteries, you put it in here and it'll run this thing for like six hours. That's six hours, that's awesome, that's awesome. Uh, so this is available now and uh, people should go to their dealer if they wanna check one out, yeah? Yes, these are shipping now. What I would also say is they're extremely popular, so don't expect it to be just sitting there on the shelf, but you call them up, you know, you'll find it. They'll, they'll be able to get them in from us. And uh, people can go to the Panasonic website if they want to find out more, right? Yes, it's the CX350. You go to the Panasonic website, whether it's the North American site or our international site, and there's lots of information, including uh, complete uh, in, uh, instructional videos as well as a complete user guide that we've, uh, pu we've had published. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mitch. Thank you. You're watching Indie Shooter's back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss.